in a city that was hard hit before this historic recession. A place where you don't hear a lot of positive news. Four friends in Michigan have opened up a movie theater. The theater is housed inside this abandoned school near downtown Detroit. When you move to New York or you move to LA, you ask, what can that city do for me? But when you live in Detroit, you ask, what can I do for the city? I'm looking to book cold souls at my theater. Nate Faustin is one of a handful of young entrepreneurs who's found opportunity in Detroit. With $6,000 in loans and a lot of sweat equity, this single screen theater became the first tenant at the closed Burton International School. The Burton Theater is essentially an art house, cult film house, foreign film house in, in the heart of Detroit, Michigan, the heart of Cass Corridor. We are um, committed to playing films that uh, would never show here otherwise. We ended up buying the old state theater seats and we were able to just use fabric and curtains and kind of put together a space that looks kind of nice. These were obsolete projectors for a local or for another theater in the area and we were able to take them off their hands. So these make up one of our greatest expenses, which are the films themselves and, you know, they range anywhere from uh, 250 to 500 dollars and it costs about 70 dollars a day in electricity for the projectors. So whether a packed house for local favorite Robocop or just a few for a 1980s Japanese film, the show goes on. And it's, it's crazy because half the, half the small business in the area are people 30 and under, 35 and under. Down the street, native Detroiter Toria Blanchard quit her job as a high school French teacher to open up the crepery Good Girls Go to Paris. About two years ago, I just decided to do a little experiment and just quit my job and cash in my 401k and hope for the best and open a crepery in Detroit. If people didn't want to have, you know, have crepes in Detroit, fine, I'll just go back to teaching. I don't think I could have done this in any other major city for the amount of money that I've spent. Without any loans, Ms. Blanchard recently expanded into her second location a sit-down restaurant in Midtown Detroit. This location is the fully, my fully realized ideal creperie, you know, at this location to the T. I always wanted the tall ceilings and I, ha I wanted a space for my, my, my vintage film poster collection. Honestly, this is my dream. This is, I'm doing what I love. And just next door, Greg Lenoff, another former teacher, opened up Leopold's books. We carry kind of a curated collection of books, magazines, zines, locally made. I had grown accustomed to having this kind of bookstore in the places I was living. As compared to a place like New York or Chicago, I think it's insanely cheap. His 650 square foot space cost him a little over 1100 a month. So far, my reward has been in the constant refrain of people who come in and whether they buy something or not, whether they're interested in anything in here, nearly every single person comes in and says, we appreciate that you're here. All right. Thank well, you very much. My pleasure. I'll we'll see you. You have a great Christmas. We'll see you next year, I'm sure. Thanks. Yeah, we'll see you. I'm, I'm curious to see how tonight will do. And our Christmas movie of choice was Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence, which is a uh, Japanese film where David Bowie spends Christmas in an internment camp as a British soldier. So I don't know if it's cheery enough for people, but I hope it I hope it'll it'll do all right. Uh not too much. Looks like Maybe six, I think. Six or seven people have been in. So it's been a slow day. It's 10 minutes away from the next Showtime Missing Person, and it sounds like somebody's coming in. Yeah. We the only ones here? Is that? That's far, yeah. 
That's uh, four is better than two. They came one time early on, I think just to check out the space. And it was neat to see them come back now so that we know it wasn't just a curiosity. I don't know of any other city in the country where you could open a theater just because and, and four you know, screw-ups who are just hanging out can now be business owners. Detroit is just the one place where you can just kind of do whatever you want to do. 